it's Jacob and welcome back to another video. Today, I'll be showing you how you can create your very own mod pack for Minecraft. How to overcome crashes, what versions to use, and finally, how to share it with a friend. So let's get right into it. To start off, I recommend you use CurseForge. It will make life a lot easier. So to do that, head over to the link in description, click download, but if you're on Mac or Linux, scroll down and then click download, but either way, wait for it to download, double click the installer and you should be good. Now once you are in CurseForge, at the top you can either choose to play pre-made mod packs or you can create your own mod pack. And I do recommend you play pre-made ones first, like RLCraft, to see what mods you might like. But in this video, I'm showing you how to create your very own, so let's get to it. Click Create Custom Profile. Give it any name, for example. Yeah, and you should do that as well. But if you have a picture made, you can also select one here. And now you need to select a version. And some versions are better than others. For example, 1.19.4 is the newest as of now, but you shouldn't really pick that one because it'll have less mods made as it's the newest, but older ones could have more mods which are also better. So I do recommend the most 1.12.2, but after that 1.16.5 and then 1.18.2. Those are the three main versions you should use for modding really but either way once you've selected your version i'll do 1.18.2 you need to select your game type you can either choose forge fabric or vanilla and since this is a modding tutorial i would choose either forge or fabric and forge does have more mods but fabric would have better performance but i'm not struggling on performance right now so i'll do forge and now the mod loader version it may seem complicated, and it is, but as this is the basic tutorial, I recommend you just select the one at the top, and now click create, wait, and voila, you created a pack. Now, once you've done that, click on it, and then click the little jigsaw piece here on the right, and you can start adding mods but quick tip if you're using forge download optifine from their website link in description and if you're using fabric download phosphor lithium and sodium for the best performance okay 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 it's a little much but one more quick tip before we move on when adding mods add maybe one or two then launch the game and see if it doesn't crash and if it does you might just have to remove that mod, but now we will move on. Oh, and if you want to make it more personalized, and I do not recommend this for beginners, you can edit the config by opening the folder and then going into config and changing some of these files. But it is pretty complicated in some scenarios, so I don't recommend it for complete beginners. But if you do manage to change something, then test the game and make sure it doesn't crash immediately. And if it doesn't, then good, well done. Okay, so now the final step. You're basically finished already. It's just sharing it with a friend. So once you're happy, you can export it. You can do that by clicking the three dots and then clicking export profile. And then there's like a lot of boxes here, but I do recommend clicking each one as in most cases you will need them. Once you've done that, you can change the name if you want to, and then you can export. It will ask you where to save it, but you can save it for example on your desktop and share it with someone, but that's the end. I hope you guys enjoyed the basic tutorial on how to create a mod pack. Leave a like and a comment. Smash that subscribe button. But I guess I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.